Once upon a time, in a small village nestled deep in the mountains, there lived a young man named Hiroshi. Hiroshi was known for his restless mind, always buzzing with thoughts and worries. He found it difficult to find peace within himself, and this inner turmoil affected every aspect of his life. Hiroshi longed for a way to empty his mind, to find serenity amidst the chaos of his thoughts. One day, Hiroshi heard about a wise old monk who resided in a secluded temple at the top of a nearby mountain. The monk was renowned for his profound wisdom and his ability to guide others on their spiritual journeys. Intrigued by the stories he had heard, Hiroshi decided to seek out the monk and learn the secret to emptying his mind. The journey to the temple was treacherous, with steep and winding paths that seemed to go on forever. Hiroshi's determination, however, propelled him forward. After days of arduous travel, he finally reached the temple, where he was greeted by the serene presence of the old monk. I have come seeking guidance, Hiroshi said, bowing respectfully to the monk. I wish to empty my mind and find peace within myself. Can you teach me? The old monk smiled knowingly and gestured for Hiroshi to sit beside him. Emptying the mind is not a task to be accomplished with force or haste, he said gently. It is a gradual process that requires patience, discipline, and self-reflection. Are you willing to embark on this journey? Hiroshi nodded eagerly, his heart filled with hope. And so, under the guidance of the old monk, Hiroshi began his training. The first lesson the monk taught Hiroshi was the art of mindfulness. He instructed Hiroshi to sit quietly by a flowing stream and observe the water without judgment or analysis. At first, Hiroshi found it difficult to keep his mind from wandering, but with practice, he began to notice the intricate patterns of the water, the way it flowed effortlessly over rocks and around obstacles. As Hiroshi deepened his practice of mindfulness, he realized that the thoughts in his mind were like the rushing currents of the stream, they came and went, sometimes gentle and calm, other times turbulent and chaotic. He learned to observe his thoughts without getting caught up in them, simply allowing them to pass through his awareness like leaves floating down the stream. The second lesson the old monk taught Hiroshi was the art of letting go. They climbed to the top of the mountain, where the monk led Hiroshi to a beautiful garden filled with vibrant flowers and lush greenery. In the center of the garden stood a magnificent cherry blossom tree, its branches swaying gently in the breeze. Observe the tree, the monk instructed Hiroshi. Notice how it stands tall and proud, yet it remains flexible, bending with the wind. Learn from the tree and practice the art of letting go. Hiroshi watched as the cherry blossom tree gracefully surrendered its blossoms to the wind, releasing them one by one. He realized that holding on to thoughts and attachments only caused suffering and prevented him from finding inner peace. With each falling blossom, Hiroshi felt a sense of release, as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. As Hiroshi continued his training, he encountered many challenges along the way. Sometimes his mind would become overwhelmed with worries and fears, but the old monk always offered gentle guidance and reminders to return to the present moment. One day, as Hiroshi sat in meditation, a powerful storm swept through the mountains. The thunder rolled and the rain poured down relentlessly. Hiroshi felt a surge of panic rise within him, his mind becoming a whirlwind of fear and anxiety. He rushed to the old monk, seeking solace and guidance. The old monk welcomed Hiroshi with a calm smile, unfazed by the storm raging outside. He motioned for Hiroshi to join him in the meditation hall and instructed him to sit in stillness, despite the chaos around them. As Hiroshi closed his eyes and focused on his breath, the old monk began to speak softly, his words carrying the weight of profound wisdom. Embrace the storm within you, just as nature embraces the storms that pass through, the old monk said. Observe the tempest of thoughts and emotions without resistance, without judgment. Allow them to arise and subside, like the passing storm. 
Hiroshi took in the monk's words, slowly realizing that the key to emptying his mind was not to suppress or escape his thoughts, but to acknowledge and accept them fully. He understood that true peace could only be found by being present in the midst of the storms within and without. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months as Hiroshi diligently practiced the teachings of the old monk. He found solace in the simplicity of each moment, the subtle beauty of a blooming flower, the gentle whispers of the wind, and the stillness of his own breath. With time, Hiroshi's mind became more spacious and tranquil. The constant chatter of worries and doubts diminished, replaced by a deep sense of inner calm. He no longer identified himself with his thoughts, recognizing them as fleeting phenomena that came and went. One day, as Hiroshi sat in meditation, his mind clear and his heart light, the old monk approached him with a serene smile. Hiroshi, you have come a long way on your journey, the old monk said. But remember, the true essence of emptiness lies not in the absence of thoughts, but in the awareness that is beyond them. It is in the stillness that lies beneath the turbulence. Hiroshi nodded, his eyes filled with gratitude and understanding. He had learned that emptying the mind did not mean erasing thoughts altogether, but cultivating a deep presence and spaciousness that allowed thoughts to arise and dissolve naturally, without attachment or resistance. As Hiroshi bid farewell to the old monk and began his descent from the mountain, he carried within him the wisdom and practice he had gained. He knew that the path of emptying the mind was not a destination, but a lifelong journey. Returning to his village, Hiroshi became a source of inspiration for others who sought inner peace and clarity. He shared the teachings of mindfulness, letting go, and embracing the storms within, guiding them on their own paths of self-discovery. Years passed, and Hiroshi's name spread far and wide. People from distant lands sought his guidance, and he humbly shared his wisdom, always reminding them that the true power lay within themselves. In the twilight of his life, as Hiroshi sat beneath the cherry blossom tree, he reflected on his journey. He realized that the key to emptying the mind was not found solely in the teachings of the old monk, but in his own unwavering commitment and willingness to explore the depths of his being. With a serene smile, Hiroshi closed his eyes, feeling the gentle caress of the wind and the blossoms falling around him. In that moment, he knew that the journey to empty the mind was a continuous dance with life itself, a dance of surrender, acceptance, and profound inner peace. And so, the story of Hiroshi, the restless young man who became a beacon of serenity, spread throughout the world, reminding all who heard it that within the depths of their own minds, they too possessed the power to empty their thoughts and discover the boundless peace that resided within.